Welcome 2025. With this, the opportunity to learn more around software design. In this video, I give you five terrific books around software design and how to write a better code. Welcome you, my name is Otavio Santana and a huge pleasure to discuss more around software architecture to you to help you to become an ultimate software engineer. So if you want to learn more around those topics, Java, software architecture, software design, documentation, tests, and anything that leads you to a better software engineer, this channel is for you. Please subscribe on this channel. On software design, my first book recommendation explain you the complexity and simplicity inside your code, how to handle with both, and also one way to measure the complexity inside your code using exploring some metrics such as cognitive loads, the time to learn and apply, and chain amplification inside your code. Furthermore, this book gives you some ideas around the strategic and tactic when you decide to write in some code. This book is a philosophy of software design where it brings amazing idea how to make your code easy, not just for you, but for everybody and your team and also people who are gonna consume your API. So a philosophy of software design is my first book and on my opinion is a must read book. It doesn't matter writing a beautiful code, an ugly code, a um, simple code, and a complex code if you don't achieve the result. Uh, this book is gonna give you some thoughts around how to transfer the knowledge between you, software developer, to the domain expert. Naturally, I'm talking about domain driven design topic. My recommendation I give to you is the domain driven design with Java especially because you're a developer, and then go to the classic. Avoid starting with domain redesign by Eric Evans because it requires a huge cognitive load to understand about the book. So the book is around here. So take a look on this book, domain redesign, and then go to the classic one. The next step, writing a good code enough to make it scalable for everybody. When I talk about scalability, I talk about the team scalability, the tough one. You need to write a good code with meaningful names and functions and variables and so on. It's a classic, super popular as well, the clean code book. So I do recommend you to read this book as my third step recommendation around software design. So you learn the simplicity, you learn to achieve the goal, and finally, to make your code even simpler exploring clean code design. A good code design also must have testing around it. In this book, we will explain you how to achieve that using several layers and several ways to achieve that. For example, driven or test-driven approach, exploring uh, test-driven design, and so on. So this book is amazing. It is a must read around testing and code design for me. The definition of done must include tests, and this book brings how to write code and testing with effectiveness. So I'm talking about the effective software design by Anish. So don't worry, the, the link is on comments. For me, it's a must book if you want to learn more about testing and naturally code design. Finally, you learn around the simplicity inside the code, then to write a clean code, to achieve results, taking information from the domain, and how to write a good test in an effective way. It is time to write a better Java code. Effective Java is a super great book where you're gonna learn how to use anon, collections, and so on. So this book, It's a Must, is by Joshua Block, where he explains more step by step the API that he helped to write. So you're gonna learn how to use it with effectiveness, uh, and then collections, the type of collections, singleton lists, singleton collections, empty lists, 
how to avoid some mistake, for example, don't return new when we handle with collections and so on. So Effective Java is a great book and it belongs to our five package around software design. Naturally, if you are a Java developer, it is a must read book as well. That is it for today. Hopefully you enjoy more about software design after these books and please let me know your thoughts. What do you think about those books? Do we recommend something else for me? I love to learn from the audience as well. Please give your thoughts and share your knowledge and naturally, if you enjoyed this video, give a like. <music>